and that bullet right there didn't deform a bit. I caught it in the hippo, I have it. It busted its front shoulder here, and then it hit the other uh, shoulder bone, which is also the size of a small soccer ball. Right. Busted it, like, messed it up. That's gotta be eight feet across the shoulder of a hippo? So it was about- Six, eight feet? Six and a half. Okay. And um, once it went through that, sh that shoulder bone, that slowed it down enough that they have a tremendous muscle. It's like this on okay. the outside. And it was stuck in the muscle before the skin. So you basically shot essentially through a hippo through the shoulders. Both shoulders. You've got both shoulders. Yep. Where it's one bullet. One bullet and 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 uh, about six feet of hippo. So well, in between the two shoulders is, is still. Is that the 505? It's a 505 Gibbs at 2200. It's a mild load. Mild load, that easy shooting load. Astounding, and uh, and it was in the the second the second shot the the, uh, the insurance shot right. Um, I jumped up on a on a dirt mound and shot down at him, and uh, got him right in the back, right in the bone, right in the and it busted his spine because I wanted to make sure that we weren't walking up on a ticked off sure. hippo. I don't want to do that. And, and no, and it, and it, it busted its spine, but because there was no shoulder bones to go through, it went in the dirt so deep that that I had one of the native guys try and dig it out, he couldn't dig it out. So right, I'm looking at the 375, did I ever tell you about the, uh, <laughs> the PH I had in uh, Zimbabwe? He was an old cull hunter. What they would do is, they would. I was shooting 375 there, remind me. Mm -hmm. They would have a big herd, they were having to cull them out, and they would go up, get as close as they could, and then run into the middle of the herd. We're talking two, 300 buffalo. You've wow. seen these herds, oh, yeah. right? Yeah. He would shoot one, stone it, jump up on top of it, and then as they're all running around like crazy, he's shooting buffalo, Cape Buffalo. He wow. was insane. That is pretty insane. That's then when I figured out, let's see, he had scars from that. He'd been chewed on by a lion. <laughs> He'd been shot by terrorists. He'd been, what? oh yeah, mauled on, you know, answers to the name of Lucky or something, you know. But I need, yeah. to, meet, I need to meet him. Fun stuff, I man. need to meet that just, guy. Just fun stuff, <laughs> you know. These, yeah, that's the other thing about all these loads and the bullets and the guns and the trophies on the wall. It's all about the memories. Isn't exactly. It? You're building memories. Yeah, you build the memories. You pass. You look at a 375. You pass it on to your kids, Perfect. your grandkids, everything, buddies, that, whatever. That, that's what you're really in the business of. Is yeah. you're helping people build memories. That's right. Yeah, that's I, pretty cool. I didn't think about it that way, but yeah, I think you're right. That's that's the one that won the hippo. Man, 600 grains. That's awesome. How far was it? What was the range? 15 yards at night with a spotlight. You are crazy. <laughs> and they were everywhere. The cows were everywhere. Just everywhere. All they, were, they, were, they were eating sugar cane five feet from us. And we're in between them and the Crocodile River. And I'm like, I know that's a no-no. Hippos to the left and crocs to the right? That's exactly right. The Crocodile River that, that forms the, the boundary between uh, Mozambique and South Africa and then Kruger National Park. What could go wrong? Nothing. Nothing. It'd be perfect, right? Yeah, let's go out at night and mingle with the hippos who yeah. kill a whole lot more people than crocs ever do. That's right. That, this one here is about 5,000 pounds. It's a big one. It yeah. can be anywhere from 3,500 up for a bull. Oh, There's a big yeah. one, big scarred, nasty thing. I'm getting a full mount. The whole thing. It's 12 what? and a half feet long without the tail. Holy cow. 12 and a half feet. You have to build a house around that thing. It's, it's like a, it's like the Ford Explorer. <laughs> yeah, what could go wrong on a hippo hunt right next to the Crocodile River in the, at night? 15 yard spotlight. PH says, I'm gonna put the spotlight on him. Right. And you'll have one to two seconds before he comes at you. Oh, I thought you said before he runs away. Nope. Not, nope. The bull, the bull hippo will come at you. Okay. So he's like, hey, we got one or two seconds before he comes at you. No so, pressure. Yeah, no pressure. And, he, and then he says, this is, this, is, this is to make me feel better. This is the pitch black night. Right. And he's talking in my ear. He says, oh, he's gonna be over this next thing. I saw him with the thermal, he had thermal. Okay. And he says, don't worry. I will stay with you until the last second. When he comes, when, 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 he's, when he's close enough, <laughs> you can't words, shoot. Then you're gonna be on your own, yeah, buddy. That's right. He <laughs> says, you go right, I'll go left into the sugar cane. That was his plan. That's a plan. That's hey, a plan. It's a plan. At hey, least there. What could go one. wrong? Can't imagine. I'll tell you. We'll we'll catch poachers in the middle of it. That's what happened. Whole another story. Whole another story. Whole, so I shot it. We're sitting over the the uh, the dead thing, trying to get it in the right spot, making all kinds of noise. Right. Lights everywhere. Right. right. And we hear all kinds of noise a couple hundred yards away, and the conservation officer is with us because it's a cool, it's a uh, problem animal. Okay. So they have to make sure it's a problem animal. Right. Uh, he says, hey, 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 and he grabs the PH with the backup rifle, and he, they just leave. 
and I've, we've got the, the backup PH and me, where I've got the only gun. Right. And he says, they just went to go find out what all that noise is all about. You're not exactly a rapid fire gun. I don't have an AK or an AR. My no, head. no. <laughs> I have a three shot 505 Gibbs. <laughs> but if you could line everybody Ooh. up. <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely, definitely could. They caught wow. him. Wow, they caught him? They caught him, yeah. Yep. Those guys are dangerous. They were, there's four of them. They were, they're dangerous. They, yeah. they, uh, it was no joke. Okay, so you got crocs, hippos, and poachers yeah. at night. At night, yeah, about one in the morning. Start a fire and bring the marshmallows, man. Good to go. Yeah. We're having a party out there. Like you were saying earlier, memories. Memories, making memories. Making that's memories. why we go. That's right. The truth of it is, that's why we go out there. It wouldn't have been for that round in your hand that yeah. I developed. I wouldn't have been on that. I wouldn't have had the memories. There you go. And now, now, you, now uh, you've heard them. My kids heard them. It's part of my life now. That's it. It's part of your life. Yeah. That's pretty cool.